Are you tired of having same kind of transition in your videos? I gotcha. Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to make a seamless transition for your videos like this. Yo, we're back in After Effects now. This is the effect we are going through today. So let's go to the new composition and start doing this. I have two clip in this compositions. I'm gonna take the first clip and stack over it like that. By hitting Control Shift D, I've got the layer in half. So we have one clip add on to another. Now we're going to go to the first frame of the of this clip and uh, select the paint tool and uh, start maxing out this subject you can also rotoscope but there's no any mo big momentum in this video so i'm going to max myself so i max out to where i'm gonna zoom out from then i'm gonna hit m to bring up my max and open the max and it's subtract and up the feather a bit i'm gonna go with 15. i'm gonna hit the stopwatch icon on here and animate the max spot once you have a max animated close the max settings and right click on the timeline go to new and camera and hit ok it's gonna make a new camera like that and go to the timeline and hit toggle switches and mode to bring up the 3d cube which is right here and enable that then enable the 3d cube which is right here like that hit 3 to bring up this zoom tool and zoom in into your clip until your max is not visible and go to your camera transform and animate the point of interest and the position go few few forward and then just reset both of those efm then you'll have your animation looking like this and also on that clip just enable the motion blur then hit you on the camera to bring up all the keyframe and just F9 those. Set it to your bottom layer and go to effects and preset and add motion tile onto it there I set the art with width and height to 200. I select mirror edges. Then selecting your bottom layer, hit S to bring up your scale and hit the stopwatch icon in here to animate it and just zoom out a little bit. Also hit P to bring up your position and hit the stopwatch icon again here and go to the second last frame and set the position. Then selecting a bottom layer, hit U to bring up your keyframe and just hit F9 to easy ease those. So everything will be more smoother than that. Selecting your first layer, bring it down to the last. Then stretch the clip toward the another one. Now we are gonna hit T to bring up the opacity. And uh, we hit the stopwatch icon in here. And go to the end and set to zero and set it to zero and selecting both f9 to easy is those and go into the graph and copy the graph setting enable motion blur on all of those layer we got our final transition looking like this if you enjoy this video hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this see you later bye